Hello, I'm Kevin Martin for the Supplemental Instruction Series of Videos for Chemistry 121. Today we'll be discussing the strengths of acids and bases. Now, what makes a strong acid, or a strong base for that matter? Essentially, whether it's an acid or a base, this, if it's strong, it means it completely dissociates when it's put into solution. So in other words, with acids, the hydrogen comes off of it and it completely ionizes, and it's the same with bases except the hydroxides will break off. What makes a strong acid can be typically divided into two different uh, areas, its size and how many oxygens it has. Now, with size, the bigger the uh, anion is attached to the hydrogen, typically the stronger the acid will be. So, example, going down with uh, going down the hydrohalic acids, you know, chloride, bromide, and iodide, hydrochloric acid is the weakest of those, followed by hydrobromic and hydroiodic, which also happens to be the order of size as it goes down the periodic table. Another determining factor for how strong an acid is is how many oxygens are in a polyatomic ion. A good example of this would be with the chlorate and chloride ions. Now, the chlorate, chloric acid from the chlorate is a stronger acid than the chlorous acid from chlorite. And perchloric acid is even stronger still than chlorous acid. And it's, as you may notice from those, chlor chlorite has is ClO2 having two oxygens, Chlorate is ClO3, that's three oxygens, and then perchlorate is ClO4, four oxygens. And as you may notice, as you add more oxygens to the ion, the stronger the acid becomes. Now, those are acids. Now, what makes a base strong is usually when it's a group 1A metal, sodium, potassium, whatnot, is paired with a hydroxide ion, so sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, lithium hydroxide, whatever. And those are typically what are considered to be the strong bases. Now that you know what the strong bases are like, then it's easier to determine what's weak. What's weak is essentially anything that doesn't fit the descriptions that I just gave you. So if you take a look at the chart, you'll see that it's that you'll see that the acids are divided into strong and weak acids. You may notice that with the strong acids, there is a limited list. Now, those are the six strong acids you'll need to know. And if you, and if you know those, then you can determine that any other acids are just weak. So the strong acids being, of course, perchloric, sulfuric, hydroiodic, hydrobromic, hydrochloric, and nitric. And then anything El any other acids that don't fall on that list are considered to be weak, which would be like, for example, phosphoric, sulfurous, nitrous, what have you. So that's essentially all you need to know about s the strengths of acids and bases. Now, don't be careful not to burn yourself while you're working with them.